And I want to tell you another little story. Uh -huh. Like back in the day, and I'm just kind of telling you some of my personal business. Okay, Anderson, all right, all and, right. And y'all too. But back in the day, I used to be a stripper. Back in the day, <laughs> way back in the day. Wait, and wait, the, wait, wait, wait <laughs> hello? What? I mean, back in the day, I was I was doing stand-up comedy. Right. I was broke, okay? So I had okay. to kind of help pay for so my comedy. you went comedy. from stand-up comedy to a little stripping on the I side. I would go to stripping on the side to help support my stand-up comedy career. Would you ever mix the two, like stripping I, comedy? I would always do that. Let me tell you why. <laughs> because I wouldn't want to get butt naked. So the way that I would get out of that is uh -huh. by telling jokes. So I would always get well, off wait, easy. do guys who go to strip clubs... Want to And I've got to admit, I've, I think I've only been to one <laughs> once in my life. As, you know, clearly, I'm not the target demo. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, and I, I only went because it was a friends from college bachelor party, and I was the one being like, "Really? Can we leave now? Right, Can we go right, now?" Like, right. But um, that's how I would be too. But my okay. sense is the guys who go there, they don't really want to be giggling. No, they I don't. Mean, well, maybe they want to giggle, but they don't want to be like laughing. That, they don't. Right. They usually come because they want to see what Big Ange got. You follow what I'm saying? <laughs> but okay. I, the way. I would be so charismatic, seriously, right. that by the time I started telling jokes and I might have gotten to my G-string or something, uh -huh. it, was, it was time to go. Like, their <laughs> time was up. But the first club that I ever worked at was in Staten Island. Okay. So when I saw the whole Mob Wives in, in Staten Island, I was like, wow, I used to be hanging out there back in the day. Right, you so know? you feel, you feel so like it's like coming home. I felt home. a little connected. Okay, okay. all right. From back in the day, y'all. Right. I'm a different so, person today now. I understand you actually went to Big Ange last I night. I had to go see the drunken monkey. I had to. <laughs> and I wanted to see Big Ange up close and personal. And I'm just, like, fascinated that she would have those boobs that I, are just so big. I just don't understand how somebody does that to themselves and what they see when they look in the mirror. But you I know mean, don't what? Don't you ever ask yourself, like, what does, what does Big Let Ange see? Let me tell you, when Big she... Ange saw... Look, Dr. DeVito is who Big Ange said gave her the whole thing, right? Well, and that's the other question. What doctor would like be like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. No, let me, and they're hard. I touched them, you guys. Oh, Lord. Because I did. I, I, I had to see what they felt like. Because she bumped into How, me, Anderson. She bumped into me, and I almost fell. Well, I was and say, I was like, whoa, those things are heavy. How did you broach that with Big Ange? Were you just like, I well, want to touch your breasts? You know what I said? I said, Big Ange, your boobs just bumped into me. Can I touch them? And she was like, go ahead. <laughs>